Hi, this is Dana, and uh, hey, we're on the road again today, and uh, but I want to talk a little bit about color, and uh, what I'd like to talk about is when trying to formulate color, which is always, for some reason, seems to be kind of a problem. There are three things that you really need to know about, you know, formulation. The first thing is, what are you starting on? What level? Uh, if you don't know the level, you know, grab a swatch book, go to your end series, you place the swatch book on the hair, and when you're looking at matching the hair on the client's head versus the hair in the swatch book, swatch book when, when you see it where it, it's just perfect, that's the level that person's on. So that's how you determine level. Second thing, where are you going to go to? What level do you want to go? Remember, with color, you can only lift four levels. That's it. Otherwise, you got to use bleach. So let's say an example would be uh, the person's a level uh, seven, dirty dishwater blonde. All right. You want to take them up to a level nine. Uh, so if you look at that, you got to count the level you're on, which is the biggest mistake that most people make. Uh, so you got to count seven, eight, nine. That's three levels. You got to eat the level you're on in order to get to where you want to go. So that's three levels, which means you got to use 30 volume. Now the second mistake people make, which is pretty crucial, is you don't leave on the peroxide long enough. So whatever peroxide you're using, if you add 10 minutes to the peroxide, you know exactly how to leave it on. So in this case, we're using a 30 volume, add the 10 minutes to it, makes it 40, 40 minutes. So add 10 to your volume, and you'll always get the right amount of, right amount of time. All right, so now we know that. Now, the next thing is you want to understand what's the underlying pigment at level 9. Well, it's dark yellow. And I, I think of it this way. 9 outside the banana, 10 inside the banana. So you're going to have a lot of dark yellow. So what you want to do is you want to fight the dark yellow. So you're going to pick the color if you want to try to negate that yellow. Something that's got, you know, a level 9, a lot of pigment, a purple, or a violet base. That's what you want to use. And you're going to have a great result. So that's my tip for today. Remember three things. Find the level you're on. Count the level that you're you're actually on in determining your formula. So in this case, seven. You've got to count seven. Seven, eight, nine. That's three levels. Use the 30 volume. And always make sure that you're going to either enhance the underlying pigment or you're going to negate the underlying pigment. Hey, that's Dana, and that's my color tip for today. Take care. See you later.